What's up, everybody? It's your boy. It's Elliot. Welcome back to another take here at the Esports with Elrod. And, you know, for me, to me, the Halo Infinite Season 2 has been a W. I really have enjoyed it. Hello, bozo. <laughs> and last night I was playing, and I was just really just sitting back and enjoying it, and I was staying up late, looking at the feedback on Twitter, and all I saw was just this sea of hate towards this new this season, and they were like, leave it at the 3 for 3 to make situations and matters worse. I just did not completely understand this, and I can see it kind of being 50-50, because there were some things that are questionable, and by no means am I a 3 for 3 like apologist, but we just have to be real and understand the situation. This season was not meant to save Halo Infinite completely. To me, if Halo Infinite is this giant ship, it just shifted the course, right? And now it's headed in a much better direction. I think with each season, it's going to continue to get better. Does it suck that we have to wait six months for this next season? Absolutely. But we even heard it from 343 themselves. This isn't a decision that they themselves like or want. That in fact, it is a very tough decision. Well, one thing to make really clear, none of us inside of 343 look at this roadmap and are happy with it. You know, all of us want to be doing things faster to deliver more content. You know, we still have this desire to get into a rhythm, a healthy rhythm, where we can ship a season every three months. So for us internally, it was painful, frankly, to communicate this roadmap with a season that was going to run for another six months. But the reason why we're doing that is exactly what we talked about before. We have to prioritize going after quality of life issues that are impacting the game right now. Like today when you fire up the game. That's our number one priority. However, pulling from that same stream, Jerry Hook did say that they were going to be moving away from the armor locked course, you know, customization system. And after listening to uh, Sean Dubs in one of his most recent videos, it brought light to me that, you know, he's right that if you look at the battle pass, all of the armor that's kind of really locked within it, or all the stuff that we really want and they were promoting, is locked armor core pieces. To the Rakshasha, the Rakshasha, the Rakshasha, the Rakshasha, Armor Core set. I mean, what the hell? And we really lost uh, uh, incorrectly the strength that Reach and uh, Halo 3 brought to the franchise of allowing players to really mix and match everything. And uh, we, again, we knew we'd have some struggles there. We didn't realize it would be as bad as it was. We are looking to move away completely from the core system. Um, and what that means for season two is you'll start seeing uh, specifically what I would call in canon cores. So, you know, your Spartan five to seven to, you know, whatever we're doing for infinite on a canon perspective, uh, we're trying to make that ubiquitous. So if you earn a coating, it's usable across all of those cores. Or if you earn a shoulder piece, it's usable across all those core cores. Yeah, the feedback definitely helps us prioritize yeah. what's most important to the players. Yeah, and kits. Kits are the kind of fit in that same challenge where the original design philosophy was a kit was more like a uniform. We wanted players to just quickly, basically, uh, put that uniform on, whether it be esports or whether it be a character, and just say, hey, look, that kit goes there. Um, and we want to make, from a design philosophy perspective, we want our content to be able to be used across all of our, uh, uh, basically, our players' characters to be able to go and make their Spartans look the way they want, including kits. Uh, those won't be on day one, but it is something that we're hoping to address in a drop pod um, coming in season two. You guys literally said that you're moving away from it, from canon suits, but I don't see any cross-core customization. Maybe that's maybe I'm misinterpreting that, and that's something you're going to implement down the future. But when I heard it, I initially thought that this was going to be something that they did right at the start of Season 2. And I brought this up in yesterday's video, but I would really like to see the HCS when I buy like an Optic Gaming or a Sentinel skin. It comes with an AR, a pistol, and a Warthog you know, blueprint, which is cool, but they're still kits. They're not customizable. I guess the Warthog is a coating, and that's customizable, but it's not a weapon coating. And then for those who got the HCS bundle when it provided an actual suit, because now you don't even get a Spartan skin when you buy an HCS bundle, why can't, if I wanted to support Optic, I could buy an Optic Gaming coating that works across all my Spartans? I just, I don't understand what's so hard about that. However, what I do like is the story that we are getting within it. The cinematic trailer was very interesting. It looks great. And I'm really intrigued. However, I do wish we had a little bit more context. Does this kind of run parallel with campaign? We don't really know what time frame this is in. I was listening to like 
some of the guys who really go into the lore of it, and they even didn't know exactly when this is taking place. But now the, the villain of at least the multiplayer story is this Ultron-like AI that gets corrupted. And I mean, it does make sense. It's coming from the Banished. So that I think that's really cool, and I'm interested to see where they go along with that. And more information that is being left up in the air is there's this rumor that is going around about like 3 for 3 is working on a new Halo Infinite project. And I, I'm kind of stoked that I haven't heard anybody have this take on it yet but to me this upcoming project this thing going around is just going to be the dlc the expansion to the campaign which may take a year to two years for every bit of campaign that we get and if we remember multiplayer and the campaign are separated this is why i'm confused on like the context of of the storyline that's going on within the multiplayer is it separate from the campaign because the multiplayer was free the campaign was not so i think it's safe to assume that future dlcs for campaign are going to have a price tag to go with it. I don't think 343 is giving up on Halo Infinite and they're throwing it to the side. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think 343 is actively working on the story and the theme that Halo Infinite is going to carry. Joseph said it himself. During the live preview, he is a storyteller and he really likes telling a story. So I think they're focusing on the story of Halo Infinite at the moment. I don't think they're trying to deviate from that. And I know with that being said, you could look at their actions and they're like, how can you say that? Because their actions don't quite lead up to that. But at the end of the day, just like in Call of Duty and the Activision side of things where there's a lot of frustration in that community, I don't know if it's necessarily the developers or if it's the freaking lawyers that hold the developers back. Because in the Call of Duty side, it's really the lawyers the people who have to go in and wearing suits, they're the ones that are kind of holding the development of the game back and making a better, joyous product. Instead, they're trying to focus on the bottom dollar. And Microsoft, we all know, is trying to focus on the bottom dollar, and they want to get as much money as they can. Now, that's kind of my take on everything, at least on the Halo side of things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, you know, here's another picture of my dog. You guys have just been crushing the like button, so I appreciate you. So let me reward you for another picture of Annie because she is the cutest little labradoodle you have ever seen. I love her to death. Hell, you can see we're running in the background from time to time in some of my videos. So with that said, make sure you share this with a friend, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.